Greetings, Nice Landers. I'm your host, Ruby J, and today we're talking about Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! Ooh. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph is one of Disney's most retro characters, and because Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet is coming out soon, I thought it'd be fun to go back to where it all started. This is what they got right with Wreck-It Ralph characters. He's a black busted bro with an 8-bit bite. We're talking Wreck-It Ralph, this is what they got right. Wreck-It Ralph is full of old arcade game characters, and they started working on the movie in the 1980s. If you don't know what it was like in the 80s, it was basically the same as today. But everyone wore these hats. Ooh, nostalgic. The film used to be called High Score, and then in the 90s, they changed the name to Joe Jump. Then finally, they changed it to Wreck-It Ralph, because it made more sense for the story. But we think the real reason they changed it to Wreck-It Ralph is because there's already one overalls wearing video game character that's cornered the market on jumping. Speaking of video game characters with jobs, Wreck-It Ralph's sometimes friend, sometimes enemy, Fix-It Felix went through a lot of changes before the movie's release. In early designs, he had everything from a hard hat to Super Mario style overalls, and he even had a hammer and nails that both had eyes for some reason. And remember, if they have eyes, even a hammer and nail should wear safety goggles. Much better. And those weren't even the weirdest Felix designs. In one sketch, he looked like a cross between SpongeBob SquarePants and a pencil. But the strangest Felix design gave him an outfit like a milkman, skin as white as a ghost, long spider arms, and eyes that were just big black dots. They didn't go with that design because they didn't want their movie to make everyone scared and stop watching. And there were other changes for pretty much all the characters. In early designs, Sergeant Calhoun's skin color camouflaged like a chameleon. They say they got rid of that to make her easier to relate to. But we think it's just because it's hard to film a character that's invisible. Vanellope also went through a ton of different designs before they settled on the one in the movie. In one of her crazier designs, her hair looked like a giant microchip. I get that Vanellope is supposed to be a glitch, but making her hair look like a microchip was just too on the nose. But the biggest character changes in Wreck-It Ralph happened to Ralph himself. Before they settled on the lovable oaf we know and love, he was briefly a caveman, a sasquatch, a young gorilla, an old, bald, and out of shape gorilla, a gorilla with a horn on his head, an 8-bit video game character, a naked human, and the weirdest of all, a red pig covered in scales with maces for hands. They did six major redesigns of Ralph before even settling on him being human. Which goes to show that if at first you don't succeed, you must try and try again. Or in Ralph's case, you must try and try and try and try and try and try again. Everyone that worked on Wreck-It Ralph put a lot of hard work into making sure that the movie's characters were so memorable. But we're glad they did because they're one of the big reasons that Wreck-It Ralph is an old school arcade classic. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you have to be a bad guy.